here I'm in the edit page for the home page and here are the sections that we created so the first heading section the second link through button section and now I'm going to add my about section with an email opt-in and my testimonials down here now to add the about section and the email opt-in all you need to do is create a new section add two columns and here I'm going to just add some text so I'm going to find the text module and I'm going to make it the about and add some text in there let's see how that looks yep so that's good then I want to save and exit that one and I'm just going to actually add the label down the bottom about just so I know what it is and then I'm going to add the email opt-in so that people can sign up to our newsletters to find out about recipes and food events in the region so I'm just going to insert the email opt-in form here now here's the email opt-in section so this is where you add a title to your subscribe form if you want one where you add the button text what you'll be on your button you can add some more information here if you want to and it is already inserted my accent color but you can add your color here if you want a background color so let me show you what that looks like so keep up to date with classes recipes and food events your name last name and email and subscribe now I'm just going to adjust that button so they can see it a bit more clearer so it's just inserted my default button that I created so scroll down under the design area until you find the button section so here it's using my default setting so I want to use custom setting and I just want to give it a white border so they can actually see the outside of the border so I give it a border width let's have a look at what that looks like now so I can change that in my visual builder as well but I just make that border a little bit thinner yep so that's good and I just want to make that title a bit smaller so I'm going to change it to the design section go to the title and let's make it a little bit smaller so let's see what that looks like and that looks good click that one now back into the content area so we added the title we added the subscribe now we want to connect with our email provider so I use MailChimp but there's a lot of email providers in here that you can connect to but we use MailChimp and a bit further down the track I think in module 6 I'll be showing you how to connect to your MailChimp account but for now I'm just going to save that one out and I already have created it down here so I'm just going to delete that section update and then I'll show you what it looks like from the front end using the preview changes button so I just want to click on preview changes so there's that about section and the subscribe to newsletter area that I have just created next section I'm going to create is a testimonial area I'll show you how to do that so we just need to go back into the edit page area so there's the about section and email opt-in section we just created now we're going to create this testimonial element so to do that all you need to do is create another standard section I'm adding a title which is just single column and I'm going to add the text module and give it the title of 
testimonial. I'm going to make it a heading two. So let's see what that looks like so far. Yep, so there's the heading which I'm going to be having. Now I want to make this heading centered, so I'm just going to go back into design, scroll down and make it centered. I'm going to save and exit that. The next part is I'm going to insert a three column row. So I'm just going to add a new row and add three columns. Now in these columns, I'm going to add the testimonial module, which Divi has created for us. So I'm just going to click testimonial. I'm just going to add the name of someone who's attended one of the workshops. If you were adding um, businesses or title where they had business names and titles names, you would add those there. So job title and company name, but we're not going to add that. And here I'm just going to add content of what she has said about growing kitchen. Obviously I'll add this later when I have those. So let's just view what that looks like. There's the testimonial and there's the actual testimonial. Now what I want to do is I want to add a nice background image behind all of this. I'm just going to save and exit that and to get the image behind all of here I'm going to go into this blue section and add the background here. So go into the image and add and then I've already uploaded my image here adding the alternate text and a description and then insert it in and I'm going to use the parallax effect which makes it scroll behind so it makes the website look like it's scrolling over the image just view what that looks like so far so there we have the title and then that nice testimonial box that's scrolling over the image it's quite tricky to read that title so what we need to do is go in and fix that font color and then I'm going to change these to match our branding colors so let's just save and exit that and I'm going to go in and do all that in the visual builder I'm going to update I'm going to use visual builder and then we're going to scroll down until we see the testimonial section so we want the testimonial section to look like this what we need to do is we need to change this font color and we need to change the colors in here. So let's go in and change this font color. Go into design, heading text. Now it was heading two, wasn't it? So you've got to make sure it's the right one. And we're also going to give it some shadow to make sure it stands out nicely. So darken up that shadow. Maybe make it a bit blurrier. So as you can see, you can move the shadow out and around, but we want it nice behind. Make it stand out. And you can also try to see which ones look better. So that looks pretty good. So it's just a bit of fiddling around there. So I'm just going to save that one. Now I'm going to go into these settings and change the colouring in here as well. So I'm going to go into the design element and then the quote icon and I'm going to add our colour into that, our brand colour. Or I could do the opposite, I could make the brand colour in here and then make the icon white and then I can go in and change the colour of the text, body text, sorry. And it makes it a little bit hard to read. So what I'll do is I'll just make it a little bit darker. So it's a little bit easier to read. And then what I want to do is I want to give this a border as well. 
So let's go in and give it the same watercolour and a width. So you can see that watercolour. And I'm going to change those back around. The quote. Go. Now we have the heading and the testimonials. Now instead of recreating all of that all over again, I'm just going to duplicate or copy that module and move it up into here. And again, duplicate and then move it up into here. This can be a little bit tricky in the Visual Builder to move elements around. That's why I like to set them up in the back end and then come in and design it in here. And then all you need to do to change the text is to go into the setting, add your next testimonial and there the new content there. And again for here. So there we have that testimonial that we created. So I just want to get rid of this element now because I don't need it anymore. So I'm just going to delete that one. And we've just been left with that new element that we've created. So now we can see that we've here are all the different sections that we've created. And the next section we will be creating is a contact form below the testimonial section. So let's just save that out and go back into editing the page. So here we are editing the page for the home page. And these are the sections we've created. And the last section we just created was the testimonial area. So I'm just gonna give this testimonial title an admin label so I can see what is actually there. And I can also give these admin labels the name of the person so you know who is who in the testimonials. This just makes editing later down the track a lot easier. The next section we're going to add is the contact form section. So what I'm going to do is add a standard section again. And I'm going to add two columns. On the left hand column, I'm going to be adding text about how it, it would be great if you can contact us. And on the right hand side, I'm going to be inserting the contact form where people can add their name, email, and their message and other information if you want to collect that from them. I'm then also going to add another section under here with the social media, so Facebook and Instagram. So let's just begin by adding a text module and here I'm just going to add contact and I'm going to make heading 2. And then under that, I'm just going to add some text about what they can do to contact us. Now here, I'm also going to add the email. So to add a link to the email, all you need to do is insert link and it will insert this mail to link. Now underneath this section, I'm going to be adding the social media posts. But for now, we're just going to view what that looks like. Yep, that looks good. I'm just going to save that. And I'm just going to add the admin label. Now I'm going to add the module which says contact form. So here it's already inserted the name, email and message. You can add other fields. So you can add lots of different fields here. For now, I'm just collecting people's names, emails and message, so I'm just going to delete that one. I'm going to leave the title empty because I've already stated on the left hand column that it's a contact page. Here you can type in the success message, so thank you for contacting us. We will be in touch very soon. 
Now this is where you will submit, have the, the button to submit for the contact form. So I'm just going to write submit. And here is the email address where all these emails should be sent. You can add um, a message here if you want people to fill in a certain way, but I'm just going to leave that blank now. Now the capture is at the bottom of the contact form. I will have a mathematical equation such as 8 plus 12, so people need to add that up. And that just stops getting lots of spammy emails. Now once they've submitted this contact form, here you can add a URL redirect. So once they submit it, this is where they will end up on what page. So I'm just going to put the home page for now. And here you can add a background color for around that contact form. So let's have a look at what it looks like for now. So here is what, is what it has inserted. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just redesign what this looks like and I'm going to do that in the visual builder. So I'm just going to save and exit that for now and then I'm going to update. Go into the visual builder to so scroll all the way down to where the contact form is and see here this is what they've inserted already by using the default button setting that I'd already set. So I actually like the simplicity of the black and then the golden link. So I'm going to just add a little bit of design to the contact form fields. And what you need to do is just click on the contact form module setting. And I'll bring up the contact form settings over here. And then we want to go into design. And then want to go into the border. And I want to add border with our color and give it a bit of a border. And then I want to make inside the form just white. I want to make the form text and color as our brand again. Might just make them a little bit darker. So it's imported a default button, which I like. So I'm just going to leave that. And I think that's looking good now. I can also give it a nice effect by putting a box shadow around it. See how it's just lifted up the whole elements there. You can even see it has done it down there. That's quite a nice effect. But I'm just going to leave that off for now and just save that one. So there's the contact form added. We need to make sure we save that one out. Now people will be able to contact us by filling in this message or emailing us directly. The next element I want to add here is our social media links. So I'm going to do that back in the back end. So I'm just going to edit the page again. Scroll down until I find that contact form area. And I'm just going to insert the social media follow form here. Now, instead of going through this whole process again, what I can actually do is go up to where we created our social media follow before, click on this module setting and save and add it to our library. Then we will be able to load this wherever we want. I've already created this in my library. So you can add it to categories as well and then save and add to library. So when I want to bring up that element, all I need to do, or that module I've already saved, all I need to do is go into here. So insert module and add from library. Here it will bring up that module that's already been created. And I can also see that it's under my social media category. So I'm gonna click that one and it will bring it in. Now to view it from this end, I'm just going to go view. There it has already been brought in. Now I might move it to the left because originally it was centered up on the top. So I'm just gonna go back in and make sure that it is to the left hand side. So into design, item alignment, go and have a look again. 
let's update that and see how it looks on the front end. So I'm just going to preview those changes. So there was the social media elements that we copied, the module we copied and moved it down here. Yep, so it's moved it to the left hand side. So that, that looks really nice. And that is now our contact form section completed. So there we have the home page that we've designed. You can fiddle around with this for a long time, but it's a great, simple, easy to navigate home page where people can um, through to your social media, where they can find out about extra services that you do or products that you have, a bit about you and how they can subscribe to a newsletter if you have one read up about what other people are saying about you and how to contact you as well. The next page we'll be setting up is our about page.